Hello everybody, my name is Sarah, also known as Weight Watcher, Cape Cod Woman. How are you guys doing today? I'm sitting here waiting for my video that I posted for today to be processed. It's, it's never quite happened this way. Usually I have problems uploading, so I hope, I hope it gets fixed before I go to work. I want to know that it's there for you guys. So anyway, how are you guys doing in the when you know better? you do better place. I, um, I always love hearing from you guys when you have your aha moments about the food that you're eating and the difference things can make for you when you change up your food plan a little bit. I have 26 points and I've tried to make my 26 points as dense and as nutritious as I, as I can and oftentimes that means that I'm having more fruit and vegetables to fill in that little what I think is hunger but it's usually boredom <laughs> or stress so um, <clears throat> I, I was reading some of the Weight Watcher postings on Facebook um, this morning and over the weekend and I was seeing that a lot of people are totally dissatisfied with themselves and their weight loss and they say that they're doing everything right and they just don't get it and um, you know gosh I'd love to see their food plan and see what they're doing um, because I think changing things can jolt our system and I think not every calorie you know calories are different from each other you know one calorie of of um, a cookie is different than one calorie of a Brussels sprout but um, sometimes when we're just counting calories or points, we just have what we want and add up the points instead of like saying, is this the best thing that I can do for my body with my points for the week? And granted, they're all there. Even the weeklies are there. Even the activity ones are there. So that when you need them, you can use them. And treats are one thing. I get that part. But when um, day in, day out, the choices are um, perhaps not what I would find on my table, um, I just wonder if they're getting full, you know, satisfied with what they're eating. Who knows? I don't know. So um, after going to the organic farm on um, Saturday and then... Um, the um, farmers market on Friday you know somebody said to me well aren't the prices so much higher and um, definitely for the grass-fed um, beef at um, the farmers market and definitely for the grass-fed pork at the organic farm but um, you know for the most part the abundance and I don't know if it's because it's summer and there's such an abundance of everything but the prices seem totally um, comparable to Stop and Shop, um, even Whole Foods. Uh, so, you know, I'm happy, except for the raspberries and the blueberries. Those are a little bit pricey at $5 for the little container, but they do taste, they do taste like heaven and um, melt in your mouth. So, um, I was listening to somebody talk, and they were kind of dismissive of all the different diets out there. And, um, the polio, the Atkins, the Weight Watchers, they didn't say Jenny Craig. And I think that that was probably contempt prior to investigation about us here at Weight Watchers because not all of us um, are buying the Weight Watcher products and eating them and um, making that a lifestyle. Not all of us are buying the Weight Watcher frozen foods and calling that dinner. You know, the, um, the Simply Filling Eating Clean website on Facebook is absolutely awesome. Thank you, Robin. And, um, you know, it teaches all the women, all the, excuse me, not women, all the um, participants there are like me and they're figuring out their food plans with the best of the best of what there is to offer. And so anyway, <clears throat> but he did make a good point. The um, interviewer said, well, basically what you're talking about are programs that the food industry has invented to make a profit off of with these food, you know, the doctors 
and um, they're they're making money on the books. They're making money with their food, um, their followers, and such. But um, you know the the ones that are touting, like the Simply Clean, um, Simply Filling Eating Clean website. You know, there's no there's no really great advertisements for like chopped kale or um, a cucumber from somebody's garden or um, a tomato. And how come? How come a homegrown tomato, homegrown tomato tastes so unbelievably delicious than a hothouse one? I'd love to know what the nutrition comparison is for those. So when he said that it's you know these these food plans, diets, um, people touting them, it's the industry. It's it's a profitable industry for them versus aiming for foods with no labels, which would mean fruits vegetables and things like that um, and so basically you know I plan my my food plan around a lot of the veggies sometimes the the protein gets put into the bones of my of my um, Weight Watchers tracker at the beginning of the week but now doing these things like the organic garden and the farmers market you know I have this bounty of perishable um, veggies and fruits at my house and um, so I've got to use those up and so my little mind like the director of my refrigerators I've got to figure out what I'm going to make or serve first use first because of the date that these things were purchased because these things don't last forever because they have no label and they're organic and they're not shot up with things to keep them around till um, the next blue moon so I um, so it's been kind of fun though I have to tell you and I'm sorry I didn't do it I'm really sorry that I did not do um, videos of these grocery hauls from these places I got these lavender colored not that deep rich of eggplant but this lavender colored I'm gonna see if I can go back and get more about the um, thickness of like a cucumber and I got two of them and I sliced them quarter of an inch and I put them on um, in a pan on a um, aluminum foil sheet <clears throat> next time I would spray it with with um, the coconut oil spray first but um, I put them on that then sprayed them with the coconut oil again and added Parmesan cheese and roasted them and let me tell you this is the sort of thing that like it's like, well, what do I do with my veggies? Well, I'm not, I don't do a lot of fancy things. I usually just roast them with coconut oil and eat them plain. Um, and that's good enough for me. Maybe some cracked black pepper. But these, this was the first time I kind of like doctored up a veggie. Well, let me tell you, I am serving them tonight with fresh peas that I shelled and um, my big salad with my Bolt House uh, Caesar Parmesan. And fresh, wild, not frozen swordfish. Now, how divine is this? I mean, besides looking so beautiful on the plate, you've got these light lavender eggplants, these green, green, green peas, and then this swordfish that's going to have like the little X's on it because Greg puts it on the Weber grill and cooks it. It's going to be divine. And I can't wait. So I'm trying to, going to go back to that organic um, farm. It's in the town that I live in and um, it used to be there was a jail next to it the county jail and then they moved um, out of town so some obviously these organic people took it over but the prisoners used to work it and they learned a lot and um, they sold to the public as well as used it in their cooking and um, you know the sheriff was was um, applauded for having um, having the prisoners be able to learn how to cook with um, fresh, real, whole veggies and fruits, not institutional. So it's kind of, kind of cool. So um, anyway, so I want to go back the um, mescaline mix. It's divine, and I can taste the difference. I really can. Don't do a taste test with me. It's not like I'd win it, but um, I am feeling the difference. And then I wonder if part of that is psychological, because I know it's organic, I know it's local. But then they say, aim for local, aim for the closest to your house. Um, you know, instead of getting something 
that um, comes from a different country and it's been traveling for six weeks to get to your table. And I think they're right. So, um, it's just been, it's just, I love this summer. I am having so much fun this summer. And um, I can't get enough of it. Have you guys gone to any farmer's markets or little um, veggie and produce stands? And I'm sure the corn is Nirvana right now. I haven't had any for a while. But for no reason. Um, <clears throat> just because I was having a baked potato and you have to make those choices with your 26 points. So to have a baked potato and an ear of corn is like, you know, <laughs> that's a, a third of the day. So anyway... Now that you're knowing better, are you doing better? I want to hear from you. I want to hear, have you made a difference in your food choices this summer with fresh veggies and fruits that maybe you weren't thinking of before? Maybe before you started the plant, maybe you started your Weight Watcher journey in the winter so it wasn't available, but are you making different choices now for yourself? And are you seeing the needle move? I am so excited when people told me, that they didn't have wheat for the week and what a difference it made not only for their energy level and their belly belly oh so we have this great big pan am race by the way and i think it's 300 miles i think it's from one end of massachusetts all the way to p-town and so they have certain stops along the way and um <clears throat> so i got a call yesterday at the shelter and they had um at the stop that they had all the people had biked through so they were left with cases and cases and cases of fresh fruit. Did I want them? And it's like, well, yeah. And so this cool woman brought them over. Case, I mean, we're talking oranges and nectarines and um, apples and bananas and then cases of this like protein squeezy drink like little kids have. It was like unbelievable. So we, we got to talking, don't you know? And she's um, trim and fit, you know, as you can imagine, anybody that would be a volunteer for this 300-mile bike race. And um, I don't know how we got to talking about the fruit and everything, but she said she's um, trying to get rid of her belly. And um, she knows it's the wheat. And, um, and she said, look at me. You wouldn't think I had to lose weight, but I'm so disgusted with my tummy. And, if, you know, uh, hello, count me in, how many of us? And uh, you never see the shot with me below my um, bosom, do you? So anyway, she's doing the 21-day fix. And so I asked her a little bit about it, and she said, I'm always so hungry, though. And so I went on because I had time, and I YouTubed the 21-day fix just to see because I knew it was all the different colored containers, but I didn't know how big they were. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I'd be starving. But um, she's giving it a shot for the 21 days, and I guess there's something that happens after. But um, she says she's hungry. And I said, you know, if you're on the Weight Watchers one, you get your points and fruit, veggies and fruits are free. She said, I, excuse me, I know, I know. I only wish I got her name. So what does she do for uh, a job? She works in a bakery. Can you imagine? And she said it was first it was hard, you know, when she um, decided to give up the wheat, <laughs> working there with batter and pastries and breads all day long. And she said now she doesn't even see them. And the only time it really bothers her, she did have a case of ciabatta rolls in the back seat. And she said, do you want those? And I said, no, because we get Whole Foods distribution with all the fancy breads that are day old. And so they, and they don't need any more bread. And so she said, these are tough for me to look at. And I said, oh, I know, 150 calories. I'd have one and add probably two tablespoons of butter, and I was wondering why I was gaining weight. I only had soup last night, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, yeah, that piece of ciabatta bread. And um, that, just her saying it, me seeing them made me remember. Ciabatta bread is one of my favorite um, breads. And um, although I have seen a gluten-free one that looks... Um, pretty good. I bought it for my daughter-in-law one time when she came because she eats gluten-free. So anyway, that's it. I'm running out of time. I have to go to work. Zoom, zoom. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember, are you doing better now that you know better? I want to hear from you. I want to hear if you've been to any farmer's markets or any produce um, stands or like me to go to this like five-acre organic farm. What are you doing 
that is healthy and different that you never dreamed you'd be doing and you are so glad you are. Until the next time, this is Sarah, Weight Watcher, Cape Cod Woman. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.